so in um, my my education in the arts was a lot of um, elementary school stuff. So like school plays and it just felt good. I liked being in front of people. So I liked singing and I liked performing in front of people. Um, my education in the arts was also outside of school. So it was dance classes and um, private lessons, piano and instrument lessons. Um, all of that made me want to do it more. And my school had classes where I could do that in band or choir or whatever. So, um, so we got to do that and that was a really big part of my life. And it's the school experiences more than the outside lessons and, yeah. and outside community things. It was the school's experiences and the, ed the actual education of learning technique that made me want to keep doing it in all those other places. And that I think really taught me something about it. I loved it, so I got to do it in a lot of places, but I learned it at school. And if I hadn't had that, I don't think I would have gone down the path that I did, which is doing this work professionally. It would have taken a lot longer to learn technique. So the performing arts were integral. So we were in chorus and like, being exposed to musical theater in second grade. So I think in New York, it was very integral. But by the time I came out here in high school, in the late 80s, um, the arts were almost non-existent in the Valley. So I kind of went on a, a starvation diet from the arts for a while. So that by the time I chose my major in college, it really was no longer a passion of mine because there was no place to feed it. So I kind of didn't get back involved in it until after I was married. Well, and I grew up in California, which is also full of the arts. And um, I, in same thing in, in school, elementary school, we had choir through. I mean, that was it was part of the curriculum and um, performances and all that <coughs> kind of stuff. So uh, when I moved out here and they didn't have that, um, I was really surprised they didn't have that until middle school because we had it all the way through um, elementary school and um, of course through high school. Um, and then I did not, my um, college experience, I kind of went a different direction and went into early childhood education uh, thinking I was going to go into elementary education. And um, when I started researching it more and deciding that that's not really where I wanted to go because I was not going to be able to be the artistic person that I am, I kind of combined the two to kind of form going into dance education. So. I think my education definitely further cultivated my passion for the arts. Um, I remember when I and really, whenever I was in a play, or singing, or playing a musical in instrument, or collaborating, or just playing um, in a way that was creative or imaginative, I just always felt like, oh, I'm me, you know? Um, yeah, when I am being creative and collaborative, I feel like my truest self. <laughs> Not really. I mean, yes and no, because my mom was really good about, you know, I took dance lessons, and then I got really interested in the piano, and so um, she won't let me take piano lessons, but then I had to stop dance lessons, so I could do one thing at a time, which is totally understandable. Yeah. Um, but then once I, as I was young, I was very supported in anything on shoot by me, oil paint, so I could try to be a painter, and I was horrible at drawing <laughs> and when it got to be where I was in high school and college and I decided to make art my life path, it got very complicated with family kind of support. I was getting support from the world around me and teachers and professional artists, but I wasn't getting support from my family and that was that was challenging for me. Making that big leap into I'm this kid that does some art stuff to I wanna be a professional person in this field and to not feel that support from my family was really hard. Yeah. Um, so I had to let that go and have some really hard years with my family. I have always felt fully supported. Um, I have a very strange and beautiful family and um, so they were great subject matter. 
for, <laughs> for artistic uh, endeavors and then also great supporters. Uh, teachers, I feel like in my arts classes, I obviously always felt really supported by my teachers. Um, thinking back on academic endeavors, I don't I don't think I had a lot of academic teachers that were thinking along those lines. Um, but I do, when I look back and think about all the amazing teachers I can remember, even in my college years, the, the academic teachers that I adored were always the ones who seemed to have some kind of artistic feature in their personality, you know? Yeah. So that's an interesting scenario. I just realized that right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, for me, I think it's always been there. I, um, my parents aren't particularly interested in the arts, nearly the way that I am. And um, I have always, since I was very young, have had this huge desire and surge to go seek, um, I guess, beauty and art in everything. So. say it was innate. Ever since I was little I was just singing things like before even had lessons or anything. I really loved music and I loved to move and I loved to dance and I loved to do all those kind of things. It was kind of something I was born into and ever since then I've just been honing it. I think it's a combination of both. I, I mean it's that classic nature nurture question and I think it's a combination of both. You know as a child growing up I was always pretty outgoing and loud and obnoxious and you know. Child? Yeah, I mean, I, I was a, a pretty natural performer, I'd say, just because I've never really been, I've never really had stage fright or, or been afraid of any of that. I like being in front of people. So in that respect, it's, it's innate. However, without the training that I've received, without, you know, the people that have surrounded me throughout my life, then I wouldn't have been able to get as far as I have. So I think it's a combination of both. I would say I feel like um, it must be innate and then drawn out. You know, some people have like helped me draw that out. You know, in the Thank you. 